Um, well, my name is Jennifer Torres. Um, I currently work for Mental Health Association as a case manager for consumers that are court mandated to treatment. And I am completing my degree um, in clinical mental health counseling. Um, so this is my first um, field experience, which is my practicum. Um, actually, I started in criminal justice and I took my psychology classes the last year. Um, and it was sort of kind of like too late to change my degree. So I did some research and I wanted to be in the mental health field, but I didn't know what area specifically. And I found counseling and I did more research and I figured that that's how I want to help people because I want people to live fully and have just better quality of life overall. Um, I like nature, anything that's outdoor. I mean, I love reading, um, but if I want to do something for fun, just to get my head out of the, you know, so much reading, I like hiking, like just something that's peaceful. And I do like watching crime shows. It's <laughs> just so interesting. Yeah, that's, that's honesty. <laughs> Um, Arizona um, to Phoenix and Sedona. I'm, I'm in the military, so I've been in a couple places, but that's kind of like, that was a vacation trip actually. So that was good. So uh, my specialization is in crisis and trauma, um, but I've been in the been to health field for a couple of years. I've just, um, uh, I, I work currently, I have a per diem job as a behavioral health counselor. So I work with individuals that have severe um, mental health disorders and um, substance, substance abuse. So it's a transitional program for them to learn how to eventually live independently in the community. And I also have a DDD background. So I work with individuals with developmental disabilities, you know, as a program manager, um, I used to, that was my previous job. I used to just assist developing their behavior plans and um, basically just making sure that they get the level of care that they need. Um, and I do have a background in and um, behavior analysis. That's just more, um, evidence-based approach for developmental disabilities um, when it comes to modifying behaviors. I like DBT. Um, I have practiced it, but it's that's still in development. Um, what I've narrowed down because we use it more often is um, motivational interviewing um, and person-centered um, because it's more evidence-based and I, I just, I'm very, I like the integrated approach and like for the individuals to have the choice to, to make what is their treatment plan gonna look like? What are my goals and my objectives and how they have the power to determine those things. So that's kind of like my approach. I do actually. <laughs> um, this is a really old movie, <laughs> um, but it's um, Beautiful Mind. It's um, about um, this male that he had schizophrenia and the movie is based on a delusion and you don't know that to the end. And when he becomes aware of that delusion, then he makes the path to recovery. Um, but I do like, you know, different kind of movies, not all is educational, you know. Yes. Top three books? Yeah. Okay. Um, one is The Power of Now. Um, Ed, sorry, like my main 
language is not English, so it's Edward told. <laughs> um, so it's the power of now, you know, and it has a lot um, into it. It has a little bit of psychology, it has a little bit of spirituality. Um, and I like, I have a book that's um, Girl in Pieces um, that I'm currently reading and I really um, enjoy it. Um, I honestly didn't even know it was about mental health. It, for me, it was just kind of like um, a horror. I sometimes read like sci-fi things and um, it actually is about um, a girl that, you know, self-harms and she wakes up in a hospital and it, it's going through the whole um, process. And I'm trying to think about like a fun book. It's been um, a while that I don't read something fun. Um, and to think of something that's not educational. <laughs> okay, yeah, I read a book of um, the last novel of Stephen King. I do like his books. I love plantains. I can eat plantains every day. Every day. I don't. I just don't get tired. So. I would say just talk to someone and find a support system. For me, that's that's big, a support system. And sometimes that's not, you know, a family. That's not, um, you know, direct family. It's just someone out there.